You may have heard that introverts are shy, quiet, and antisocial. You may have also heard that introverts can't succeed in business because they lack the charisma, confidence, and communication skills that are required to be a successful entrepreneur. Well, I'm here to tell you that these are all myths and stereotypes that don't reflect the reality of introversion. This is the Finance Virtuoso channel, where we talk about all things finance. For your daily dose of valuable information on money, business, investments, and savings, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now. Introversion is not a weakness. It's a strength. Introverts have many qualities and abilities that can give them an edge in the world of business, such as creativity, focus, listening, empathy, and problem solving. In fact, some of the most successful entrepreneurs in history are introverts, such as Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and Warren Buffett. So how can you leverage your introversion to achieve your goals and dreams? How can you overcome the challenges and obstacles that introverts face in business? And how can you balance your need for solitude and recharge with your need for social interaction and networking? These are the questions that we're going to answer in this video. The first thing you need to know is that introversion and extroversion are not black and white categories. They are more like a spectrum where everyone falls somewhere along a continuum. According to the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, a popular personality test, introversion and extroversion are based on how you get your energy and how you prefer to interact with the world. Introverts tend to get their energy from within and prefer to focus on their inner thoughts and feelings. They enjoy spending time alone or with a few close friends, and they need solitude to recharge their batteries. Extroverts, on the other hand, tend to get their energy from outside and prefer to focus on the external environment and people. They enjoy being around others and they need social stimulation to energize themselves. Of course, this doesn't mean that introverts hate people or that extroverts are superficial. It just means that they have different preferences and needs and that they process information differently. Introverts and extroverts can both be outgoing, friendly, and successful as long as they understand themselves and respect their differences. According to various studies, Introverts make up about 25-40% to 40 of the population, but they may feel like a minority in a society that values extroversion. In fact, a survey by the Myers-Briggs Company in the UK found that 9 out of 10 people feel like society pressures them to behave in an extroverted manner, especially in the workplace and in business. This is because we often reward and admire people who are outspoken, direct, charismatic, and confident. We associate these traits with leadership, influence, and success. And in business, we often see extroverts publicizing of their achievements, talking about their wealth, and sharing personal information with no worry. We may think that this is the only way to be successful in business, and that introverts have no chance. But this is a false perception. To be successful in business, you don't have to be extroverted. You don't even have to have a strong social media presence. The only reason why entrepreneurship and business seem to be only suitable for extroverts is that extroverts make all the noise while introverts keep their success private. However, introverts have many advantages and strengths that can help them thrive in business, as long as they know how to use them. Here are some of the benefits of being an introvert in business. Number one, you are a good listener. Introverts have a natural ability to listen to others and understand their needs, emotions, and motivations. This is a very valuable skill in business because it allows you to build rapport, trust and loyalty with your customers, clients, partners, and employees. By listening to them, you can identify their pain points, offer solutions, and create value. You can also learn from their feedback, suggestions, and opinions, and improve your products, services, and strategies. Number two, you are a deep thinker. Introverts tend to process information internally and reflect on their thoughts and ideas before expressing them. This means, that they are more likely to be creative, analytical, and strategic. They can come up with innovative solutions, spot opportunities, and avoid pitfalls. They can also plan ahead, set goals, and execute them effectively. Introverts are not impulsive or reckless. They think things through before making any decisions. Number three, you are independent and self-motivated. Introverts don't need external validation or approval to pursue their passions and dreams. They are driven by their own vision, values, and standards. They don't rely on others to tell them what to do or how to do it. They are self-reliant, self-disciplined, and self-directed. 
they can work alone or with a small team, without getting distracted or bored. They can also handle stress, pressure, and uncertainty better than extroverts, who may need more support and encouragement. Of course, being an introvert also has some challenges and drawbacks in business, and you need to be aware of them and overcome them. Here are some of the common problems that introverts face in business, and how to solve them. Number 1. Sharing your life on social media is not something you feel comfortable with. Social media is a powerful tool for marketing, branding, and networking, but it can also be intimidating and overwhelming for introverts. You may feel like you have to share everything about yourself, your business, and your achievements, and compete with others for attention and followers. You may also feel like you have to be fake or pretend to be someone you're not, to fit in and impress others. The solution is to be authentic, and to use social media in a way that suits your personality and goals. You don't have to share everything or anything if you don't want to. You can choose what to post, how often to post, and who to follow. You can also use social media for learning, not just for sharing. You can follow people who inspire you, teach you or challenge you, and ignore the rest. You can also use social media to connect with like-minded people who share your interests, values, and vision, and form meaningful relationships. Number 2. You like to keep your plans and activities to yourself. Introverts tend to be private and reserved, and they don't like to talk about themselves or their plans. They may feel like they have nothing interesting or important to say or that they don't want to bother or bore others with their details. They may also fear being judged, criticized, or rejected by others, or that they may jinx their success by talking about it. The solution is to find a balance between being secretive and being open. You don't have to tell everyone everything, but you also don't have to hide everything. You can choose who to share your thoughts, feelings, and experiences with, and how much to share. You can also use sharing as a way to get feedback, advice, and support and to hold yourself accountable. You can find a small group of people who you trust and respect and who can help you grow and improve. You can also use sharing as a way to inspire, motivate, and help others and to build your reputation and credibility. Number three, you don't like selling. Selling is a vital skill for any entrepreneur because it's how you generate revenue, attract customers, and grow your business. But selling can also be scary and stressful for introverts who may feel like they have to be pushy aggressive, or manipulative to convince others to buy from them. They may also feel like they have to deal with rejection, objections, and complaints, and that they have to constantly pitch and promote themselves and their products. The solution is to change your mindset and approach to selling. You don't have to be a salesperson, you can be a problem solver, a value creator, or a storyteller. You don't have to sell yourself, you can sell your solution, your value, or your story. You don't have to persuade others, you can educate, inform or entertain them. You don't have to use sales techniques, you can use your strengths, such as listening, empathy, and creativity. You don't have to sell to everyone. You can sell to your ideal customers who need, want, and appreciate what you offer. So, as you can see, being an introvert is not a disadvantage in business. It's an advantage. You have many qualities and abilities that can help you succeed as long as you know how to use them. You also have some challenges and obstacles that you need to overcome, but they are not insurmountable. You can learn, grow, and improve, and become a confident and successful introvert entrepreneur. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, goodbye.